Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In order to perform almost any task on a layer, you must first be able to select it. You can select a layer by using the Layers panel to click on the layer that you would like to select. Then any changes that you make will affect only the selected layer, protecting the content of the other layers. However, this can also be a source of aggravation for new users. If you are trying to make a change to an image, and you find that the changes that you are trying to make are not being applied, check to make sure that you have the correct layer selected. This is easy to forget when you're first starting out using layers, so be sure to double check your layer selection before making a change within a layered image file. You can also hide or show layers within a layered image file. To change the visibility of a layer, click the eye icon at the left end of the layer to toggle the selected layer's visibility on or off. A neat twist on this is used when you want to view only a single selected layer. You can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the eye icon of that layer or layer set and all of the other layers will have their visibility turned off. This can be nice when you want to concentrate on working on a specific image element within a layer without the distraction of content on the other layers. You can also simply hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and then click the eye icon again to make the hidden layers visible once again. You can also quickly duplicate a layer to create another copy of the content in the image or in another image file. Be aware that if you duplicate the layer in an image file with a different pixel resolution that the layer's content may appear in a different size than you intended. If you want to create a duplicate layer, just click and drag the layer in the Layers panel and drop it on top of the New Layer button within the Layers panel. Another way to perform this same function is to select the layer and then choose Layer from the menu bar and then choose the Duplicate Layer command. In this case, you'll be presented with the Duplicate Layer dialog box where you can type a name for the duplicate into the As text box and then use the Document drop-down to select which one of the open image files you want to copy the duplicate into. Then click the OK button when you're ready to duplicate the selected layer in the Layers panel. You can also change the order of the layers within an image. When you're using layers, the newly created layers stack on top of the older layers. When a layer is stacked on another, the content of the layer on top supersedes the content in the layers below. You can change the order of the layers in a stack very easily by simply clicking and dragging the layers up or down within the layers panel. The bottommost layers are shown at the bottom of the layers panel, increasing in order through the stack to the topmost layer. You may also link layers to allow you to move their content together. Also, when you perform activities like copying and pasting the layers, the linked layers will be treated as if they are the same. So, if you copy a linked layer, you will also copy the layer to which it is linked as well. To link a layer, select the layers that you want to link in the Layers panel and then click the Link Layers button next to one of the layer names within the Layers panel. Note that you can also click the same button to unlink layers that were previously linked. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.